Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of Blazor Train, I'll show you how to publish an Azure static web app from a Blazor WebAssembly application in about five minutes. Okay, it's going to take more time to explain everything for this demo, but once you get the process, you'll be able to publish any Blazor WebAssembly app as a static web app faster than the Blazor Train's top speed. In episode 36 of Blazor Train, I welcomed Microsoft's Jeff Fritz to the show, and he told us the whys and whats of static web apps. Today, the process of deployment has been completely automated thanks to some innovative tech from GitHub and an extension for Visual Studio Code that makes it all work. And that's all coming up right now, right here on 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 Blazor on Don Blazor Train. So today we're going to learn how to take an existing Blazor WebAssembly application and deploy it to Azure as a static web app using Visual Studio Code and GitHub. So you're going to need a GitHub account. If you don't have one, go to github.com and create one. You're also going to need an Azure account. You're also going to need Visual Studio Code. Download it. So the first thing you'll need is a Visual Studio extension. And here's the URL for that. But just in case that's hard to remember, I've created this little shortcut for you right here. So this is an Azure Static Web Apps extension for Visual Studio Code. So we're just going to go install, and it comes up in Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to click here where it says install. So if you go to the extensions or hit Control Shift X, you'll see the Azure Static Web Apps extension, but you'll also see the Azure Account and Azure Resources extensions. So those are installed when you install Azure Static Web Apps. So next, I'm going to go to this URL here at GitHub, staticwebdev slash blazor dash basic slash generate. So yes, this will generate a static web app, blazor WebAssembly repo for you. Now, I have shortened the URL to this. So for the repository name, just follow along with me. I'm going to call it my first static web app with dashes in between. I'm going to make it private. You can add all the descriptions and all the stuff you want, but I'm just going to click create repository from template. So after a few seconds, you see the repository has been created. And now I'm going to clone the repository. So I'm going to drop down code and copy the HTTPS URL into my clipboard. So now back in Visual Studio Code, we're going to go up to the top there, the Explorer, and you should see a Clone Repository button. Click that. Up at the top, we're going to paste our repo. Clone from URL. Now it pulls up an Explorer and asks you to pick a directory to clone into. You're going to get this. Would you like to open the cloned repository? Yes, we want to open it. Now we're going to get some are you sure kind of things here. So we're going to say yes, we trust the authors of the files in this folder. So now in Visual Studio Code, press F1 to open the command palette and you're going to see Azure Static Web Apps Create Static Web App right there. That's the one we want. Now they want you to sign into Azure. I am now signed in and can close this page. Now you're going to select from your subscriptions the subscription you want to use. And now you're going to get this. The extension Azure Static Web Apps wants to sign in using GitHub. So allow that. And now we're going to allow the extension to open this URI. Now it's asking you to enter the name, and of course it's my first static web app. Next, you want to select a region, 
And now, most importantly, you pick the framework. And it's going to be, guess what? Blazor. Now it wants the location of our application code. And that's going to be client. So just hit enter there. WW root, hit enter there. And now down in the bottom here, I'm going to have to turn myself off. Whoops. Well, anyway, it told me that everything was created, no problem. So now you can go to the Azure extension. I'm going to expand my subscription. You're going to see static web apps. There's my first static web app. Now I can right click on this and select browse site. Now it's going to take a few minutes. So right now it's saying your web app is live and waiting for your content. So the GitHub actions are in effect and we just have to wait until they're done. So we're going to come back in a few minutes and refresh this. There we go. Hello world, welcome to your new app. Now, this didn't happen magically. It's all because of the GitHub workflow that was installed when we created the template. So it's these files that make the magic happen. Isn't that cool? And so easy. It's actually easier than putting on a stupid hat and pretending I'm a conductor every week. Now back to you in the studio, Carl. You know, .NET 7 is right around the corner. Very soon now, I'll be going back into the Blazor Train archives and updating older shows that used outdated or preview versions of .NET. The links to these new shows on YouTube will be updated on the page, and we'll provide links to the older shows. I guess what I'm saying is, to get the latest content in the near future, go to blazertrain.com before you hit the search engines. Hey, thanks for riding the rails with me today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Blaze a train!